Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today we are taking a look at the X-Lord vending machine, the second vending machine, or at least the second small vending machine that Jazzwares released. You can see a picture of X-Lord right there on the front and it even says here spray sticker is included. Now they've changed this package a little bit since the first one. You can't open this anymore. There's no push in and pull out and breaking away and having confetti. I don't know how this one works, but I'm guessing it's all just inside again, a little bit like the llamas. We'll flip the box around here and you can see the back here. Again, you still have all the items, you know, the figure, the back blings, the weapons, and the building material on showcase right there on the back. It's not a list anymore, so that makes it a little bit more visually interesting. But beyond that, you know, let's just get this thing open. I'm going to be opening it from the top here again, and I won't show you that since I already showed it to you on a previous vending machine, so we'll pop up a link to that one if you want to see how to open this one. But let's get this thing open and out of the bag. Or, I mean, the box. What bag? I got the box open and I got it all out and I noticed something really interesting and that is the breakaway pouch is still here with the sticker right there. Uh, you can see the shape of it if I get the shadows out but the breakaway stake sticker is there and so is the breakaway material with the the confetti in there. I kind of wonder if maybe mine is a mispunch or a misprint or something and that maybe it actually was supposed to be opened from the front. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to investigate that just a little bit more. It says push here, but you know that's a vending machine thing. But there's no pull here like it wasn't designed that way. And so that's kind of interesting that this would still be there because you would never actually... You'd have to purposely break that open for this to work unless this is like the pinata and it's meant to be bashed around and then popped open or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. But uh, I'm going to lay all this stuff out in a nice proper order so we can open it up on camera. So yeah, let's do that. I've got it all piled up into specific piles. We have the back bling, we have the building material spray, we have the weapons and the figure over here. And so we're going to open it in a specific order. The building material first, the back bling second, the weapons third, and then we're going to finally get to the figure at the end. So the first thing I'll just point out is this comes with a building tips and tricks guide, like just about anything else that comes with any kind of a, build, blah, a building material. We'll set that off to the side. So it's going to work like I did the other machine. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to show you each item as I get through it. You don't have to sit through here and Watch me open every single bag. So, let's get to the spray. Here we have the E-spray, the EEE -E -E spray, and it consists of four metal building materials, and you can just hook it together like this. Well, if you do it the right way. The interesting thing about this spray is that it was a spray given away at an E3 Fortnite Pro-Am event. Only a thousand of only a thousand codes were actually given away so i'd say this is probably a pretty rare spray i don't know if you know the rarity of some of the others but uh, yeah there you go the e probably the llama is saying e and i really don't know how to say that for a llama but uh, yeah that's pretty neat we get one more spray in our ever-growing spray collection the first back bling I opened is kind of funny when you understand why I think this is funny. It is the Frozen Love Wings, and it belongs to the Frozen Love Ranger. This is available, the, the character is available in a special Frozen set. We have, let's see, Frozen Raven. Now, if we just get Frozen Red Knight, we'll have the entire Frozen Legends se uh, set of figures. But what's funny is we not only have Frozen Love Ranger already, well, it was actually released after this was released. It was re This was released in the Season Greetings set of 2020. But we also got another set of Frozen Love Wings with this figure in that set. So I find that kind of funny and interesting. But uh, yeah, here are the Frozen Love Wings back bling. We have the cooler back bling. It's, or at least... 
This belongs to jammies. There's a actually like a fish stick hand sticking out of this thing. This belongs to none other than the mighty Bigfoot himself. Right here, this Bigfoot right there, it'll go right there on his back. Like so. Looks really good, doesn't he? He went and swiped up a cooler full of food. Uh, you can almost open that and see things in there. The cooler, or the Bigfoot figure, was released with the latest squad mode set around July of 2020. It's actually, I believe, the fifth squad mode set. One, two, three, four, maybe the sixth squad mode set that we have gotten from Jazzwares. But here's a pretty cool looking back bling. Next, we have the little Kev back bling. And well, it looks like this. Got a couple eyes on it. Here's the peg that goes into the back. This doesn't belong to a specific character. It was released in Chapter 1, Season 6 as part of some challenges. I don't know or don't remember if this is a battle pass or not. But uh, anyway, this is the little Kev back bling. The final back bling is one that I am super excited for the future possibilities. It is the Molten Crested Cape, and this belongs to Molten Battlehound. I really like Battlehound, and so I'm hoping that this means we will get a Molten Battlehound in the future. He was part of the Lava series in the game, but I'm really, really excited. And even if we never get a Molten Battlehound, I can at least put this on the Battlehound that we already have. The first weapon we're going to take a look at here is the legendary tactical shotgun. And there it is, both sides. Next we have a proximity grenade launcher. This is really pretty cool looking. I like the looks of this thing. A tactical submachine gun. A grappler. A combat shotgun. A drum gun. A heavy assault rifle, a compact submachine gun, and the last weapon is a scoped assault rifle. Now it's time to take a look at X-Lord the figure itself, and he looks pretty cool. He's got a pretty soft rubber coat here. You could probably slide that off if you move his arms back. And around his waist, this is also pretty soft rubber. It's going to hinder the leg motions or the movements, I'm pretty confident. On his right leg, he's got this big pouch that also probably will hinder some rotations, I'm guessing. Let's take a peek at his, uh, you know, points of articulation. His head will rotate all the way around, and he can look down, he can look up. You just got to be careful when you're moving his head down, up and down, you may get your fingers caught like right here on the collar so it won't seem like it's going anywhere, but you want to make sure that the head itself is moving. His arms will rotate, or his shoulders will rotate all the way around, and you know, my figure is very tight here in the shoulders. Uh, I can move it up, but if you can hear that ratcheting, it's very tight. I was almost thinking I was going to break it, so I was really careful with it. The elbows rotate all the way around, and they do bend back and forth. The wrists, wrists, the wrists rotate and have a horizontal hinge right there. The torso will also wiggle. He crunches back and forth like this. Does pretty good. His waist will rotate, but this rubber, the soft rubber piece, will hinder it a little bit, and that's all right. You don't need him to bend all the way around just bend a little bit so you can pose and do whatever you need to he can only do the splits about that far but he's got some good leg motion other than that uh, his thighs will rotate this one does actually rotate i'm wrong it doesn't hinder it at all he's got the double pin knee and his ankles are actually quite loose on mine rotates and hinges back and forth he's got these really cool little red high tops as well so that's the X-Lord figure. So he's got none of his parts in here. There's no back blings or harvesting tools. There's actually just no harvesting tools at all anyway. So that's the figure, and that's the set. You can see the set laid out back here. We'll set him here. Well, we'll stand him here and see if he'll stand. There are no figure stands in this. The building material back there are not... They don't have pegs, so you can make a figure stand from it. But I'm sure at this point you've got plenty plenty of figure stands if you need him to be able to stand up you know not on his own 
So I think that will do it. You know, here, let me uh, real quick bring in Bigfoot and we'll pop his back bling on real quick and set him off to the side. And, you know, actually, I didn't mention earlier, that's a kind of a heavy back bling for him. So you may need to lean him forward. And he's not even on camera, I just noticed. But uh, here's Fall in Love Ranger with the first release of the Frozen Love Wings. Did I say Fallen? I meant Frozen Love Ranger if I said Fallen. Just did the Fallen Love Ranger yesterday. So anyway, there are those guys back bling. This is the video. This is... The cool stuff, I didn't point out, I don't think, the sticker very well. So uh, I'll kind of rotate the box over here. This is going to be fun. But uh, right there somewhere, there, come on, focus, there we go. That's what the sticker should look like that's on the inside of this. I haven't opened it up yet, and it may take a little while before I open it up. I wanted to show you the sticker real quick as at least a representation of it. So, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful or informative, drop a thumbs up for me, please. And if you want to be notified when future videos of G.I. Joe Fortnite or Halo action figures show up, then hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, and you will be notified. The bell is important. Have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next video.